So you guys have been watching me live stream the Switch 2 and you're wondering yourself, how do I actually screen capture this so that way I can make gaming content and live stream? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how with the Switch 2 and a capture card. This will also work with other devices as well, like a PlayStation and an Xbox. Let's get started. Obviously, you're going to need a Switch 2 or other console that you're going to be uh, screen recording and a computer. Now, uh, what else do you need? Well, you need a capture card. It looks something like this. This one is an Elgato 60X, but there are budget models out there. If you want to save some money, I actually have a comparison video of a different budget model that you may be interested in. And depending on your setup, the USB-C cord that it comes with is pretty short normally. So you may want to get an extension for the USB-C cable. I have two options for you. So the first option in the description is going to be just a few feet more that you need. And the one under that is actually an extremely extra long cord in case you need something really, really long. And you are going to need one or two HDMI cables, and you're going to need that blue 3.0 USB port in your computer. You're going to need OBS or some other similar software, and a TV is actually optional. So now let's talk about the actual capture card and how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to notice is there's an HDMI in, and an HDMI out. That is gonna be your pass-through. So uh, the uh, HDMI in is gonna be from your Nintendo Switch 2 to the HDMI in port. Now that HDMI cord from uh, the capture card to the TV is actually optional. Now that's only optional if you're going to uh, view the Nintendo Switch from OBS. So that's actually how I live stream. I live stream and I see exactly what you guys see. I even see my own webcam and it, my webcam's in the way. It gets a little annoying, but that way I can see exactly what you can see. There is a little bit of input delay. So connecting to a TV is going to be better. The next thing you're going to notice is the USB-C. The USB-C port is going to plug into your PC. Give the capture card power because the pass-through doesn't work unless it has power and it also transmits the video signal to your computer. So now let's actually move on over to OBS so I can show you how to actually set it all up. I'm gonna assume you already know the basics of OBS. I'm not gonna teach you much about it, but I am gonna show you how to get it all set up here for the capture card. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add a new source and you're gonna to want to choose a video capture device. From here, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Cap Sure Card and hit OK. So now you're going to need to select the device. So in this case, I have an Elgato HD60X and hit OK. Now, if it shows up as a black screen, I'm going to touch on that here in a second. And the next thing you're going to want to have to do is sometimes, depending on the capture card you're using, you're going to need to add the audio. So in order to do that, you would hit another source and hit audio input capture. Here, name it whatever you want. Search for your Elgato capture card or whatever the name of your capture card is. And then hit OK. And you can see over here, I'm capturing the sound now. Now what you do see that I have two of them, that's because when I imported the capture card, this capture card automatically imported the sound for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Now, pro tip while we're talking about audio is uh, let's talk about separate audio tracks. So some video editing softwares actually allow for you to have separate tracks. And what that does is allow for you to control audio separately. So for example, I can make myself louder, louder, and louder. However, I can also make myself quieter, quieter, quieter while I turn up the volume of the game louder, louder, and louder. So in order to enable multiple tracks, go ahead and find your audio mixer and then go to the advanced audio properties. Here you can see that OBS allows six tracks for you to play with by default whatever your audio device you import will be all six. So let me show you what exactly I like to do with my audio tracks. So I like having the first one be everything. 
Then the second one is my mic only. So we can see over here my microphone. And my mic is on uh, track two. And then track three would be my game audio. So let me untick it everywhere else for the capture card. So now track one is everything as a backup. Track two would be just my microphone and track three is going to be my capture card. Now in OBS, you actually have the option to be able to play sound that you're screen recording through your speakers as well. So that way you don't even have to have a TV or you could just use your headphones or speakers in order to listen to the gameplay. So let me show you those options. So what you're going to want to do is head over to your capture card, go to advanced audio options. And from here, you'll see different options. So by default, it's set to monitor off. And what that means is it will still record through OBS, but you cannot hear it through your speakers. However, if you go to monitor only, you'll be able to hear it through your speakers, but you're not recording the audio through OBS. Or you can do monitor and output, which will record on OBS and play the sound through your speakers or your headphones. So for example, let me go ahead and click this option, monitor and output. You can hear that, yes indeed, I can hear it through my speakers. Anyways, let's carry on. Now, if you imported your capture device to OBS and then it happens to be black screen and seems to not be working, I know of two solutions. However, there are multiple reasons this could be. You may have to do research outside of this video. But what I do know is that, that if you're trying to capture PlayStation or Xbox, you have to disable HDCP. What this is, is a high bandwidth content protection, which is basically something that's required in the systems uh, if they are going to be able to have the option to play Blu-ray or DVDs because you are unable to screen capture Blu-rays and DVDs and other copyrighted content which is why you have to disable this feature in order to capture gameplay. Now, in order to play a DVD, the console is going to require for this feature to be turned on. But if you have a Nintendo Switch 2, it does not have this feature. You can't play Blu-rays with a Switch 2. That would be an awesome attachment idea, but that's not how it is right now. So you don't have to worry about that. Another thing could be that you have two instances of OBS open. So it's available maybe in the other OBS. Maybe you allow the uh, capture card to be used as a webcam or something. So you may have to deactivate it there and activate it on OBS. So let's talk about the settings you may want to change on OBS. So let's go ahead to our capture card, hit properties and feel free to copy my settings they work good for me but most importantly make sure that your color range is set to full and then also go to your switch to and make sure that in settings under display make sure you have your rgb range set to full because if you have it set to limited it looks a little off well, there you go, guys. That is how you screen capture the Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, so uh, enjoy making gaming content or live streaming the Nintendo Switch 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know any questions you have. And as always, guys, God bless. Peace. HDMI cord is actually optional. 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 Op optional. I said it right.